welcome back to like day 500 of being in Senegal. It's like not like it's been a week, more than a week, like a week and a day, I'm not even sure. But yeah, pretty much, no, it's been exactly one week because I arrived last Saturday. But yeah, pretty much today I'm gonna go to the African Renaissance Monument, and it's I believe it's the largest uh, statue in Africa as a whole. And it overlooks the Atlantic Ocean, so it'll be cool. But honestly, like since 2015, since I've been coming back home, I have not visited the monument yet. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. And it's like only five minutes away from where I live. Every time I'm like driving past it, I always try to catch it in my vlog. But today, I'm going to actually be there. So yeah, I'm gonna go with my brother. I hope it's fun. I think it will be. But yeah. Honestly, Gaga's album was pretty solid. I like like a cool five songs. This eyelash glue that I've been using has been like messing up my my left eye. My right eye is okay, but my left eye and sorry, this is like horrendous. But like, what? Can we just talk about that, please? Like, what? <laughs> but yeah, like my week so far has been pretty. It's been going great. Just a lot of catching up on sleep because my body's like fighting jet lag. Sometimes I don't fall asleep like 7 a.m. Senegalese time, which is like 2 p.m. PST time back in Maryland time but yeah um haven't really been doing much though just been in school because currently I'm in grad school and everything is online and I'm just all these lives are the sun is and I don't care okay <laughs> My oh my gosh, like what? I like wash my face. This is what I use. Rock, honestly. It's a daily hydration cream, and the thing is, it doesn't feel too heavy, it's not too oily or anything like that. I've been kind of frugal by like, using a little bit. And I've been using it for like well over two months and it's been doing my skin some wonders. But yeah, I really like it. You can get it at like 7-Eleven. I mean 7-Eleven. What? <laughs> CVS or Walgreens, Rite Aid. But more so, I've only seen it more at CVS. Yeah. Oh, lashes today I'm just gonna use this great lash mascara because why not I feel like everybody almost every mascara before lastly you just gotta lay these edges down real quick and then we're good to go oh, what I use for my edges. I've been using Eco for the longest, but if anyone can put me on to like a new um, styling gel, Ed gel, whatever, please like drop it in the comments because I'm tired of using Eco. This is how I get ready. I don't do anything. I stopped wearing makeup since like 2017, I wanna say. She's been mascara. I only recently started getting into lashes like 2020 summer. It was the first time I've ever worn lashes a day in my life. But I kinda wanna get like the individual, you know, lashes done, but I don't know yet. But yeah. Um, my house, so I'm about to go find a taxi. And plans changed, I'm actually going by myself. But that's cool though. There's nothing like exploring Senegal, solo dolo. And the weather's quite nice, like it's not that hot. So it's 
it's like quite breezy. Seems like all the taxis are full. Okay, so I just got into my taxi, guys, and I'm on my way. He tried to charge me like seven dollars for somewhere that's just like three minutes away. I said, like, what? I'm not the one. Literally, like I said, not less than five minutes. We're right there. Finally here. Bro, on who I gotta walk off all these steps just to go to the top of the Renaissance. Can you imagine? I have not worked out in like over a month. When I tell you like I'm out of breath. Like jeez man. Y'all like literally, I need to come to a stop because Ain't no way I'm this out of breath, like what? But the closer that I'm getting to the statue, I'm realizing how huge it is. Boy, so I'm tired. <laughs> like, I'm really out of breath, yo, that's crazy. But the view is superb. After like three years, I finally made it to the top. Because when I tell you guys, I was really like struggling. Like these stairs are no joke. But like honestly, like this statue is just like so huge. But I'm happy that I'm here. So finally I could like check one thing off my list. Bucket list to do while being in Senegal. So basically this pack, this plaque, excuse me. It's just explaining that the monument of the Renaissance, the African Renaissance monument, was inaugurated April 3rd, 2010. Yeah. And the architect was Pierre Gujabi Atepa. I could be butchering his name, I'm so sorry, Mr. Pierre. But yeah. The Atlantic Ocean is like right there. There goes the lighthouse. I think I want to check off my Dakar bucket list. that room back there but the thing is it's full capacity and they're about to close so i asked the guy if he could squeeze me in but he said i should come back another time so unfortunately i cannot check out like the little museum that they have literally i wish they had like food vendors or like coconut stalls like i feel like that's the only thing that's missing but apart from that like everything is great there's like a lot of families here flying their kites so it's cute watching the little churn run around and stuff like that um, yeah or people are just taking pictures i honestly wish though i had my tripod so i can like capture some more footage or take some more photos and stuff but apart from that everything is well and yeah that concludes my mini vlog i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> say what's up guys <laughs> but yeah um that concludes my mini vlog and i hope you guys enjoyed the renaissance They got some like little stalls and shops nearby, but I still didn't see no coconut. Senegal. Senegal wreck. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you're not going to drop. Like, how much is it? 1,000. 1,000, Sefa. How much is it? No. It's 1,000. It's 1,000. Like that, I was able to negotiate the price from 1,000 to 500. He's going to tell me, like, this is not handmade, but this one is handmade.